I have some awkward conversations with students, and I, I kind of enjoy them because I'm just kind of holding their feet to the fire on a couple of things. One question I might say is, show me something in the key of E major, and they'll immediately start playing something in A, or like A minor pentatonic. And I'm like, oh, so slow down. Like, you know, they're like, what do you mean? They get kind of, uh, I don't know. They act kind of surprised and kind of impatient or, or like, uh, kind of like outraged that I'm asking this. <laughs> That's what I enjoy. And then I go, well, you know, like an E major scale. And then they may or may not play it. I'm like, okay, slow down. Start with an E note. And, they're, and they might play an A note. I'm like, whoa, 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 E, E. So for me, I would start on the fattest, lowest note, big, fat, low E. It's an open string, easy shot, okay? <laughs> now there's two more right in that position. Second fret, fourth string, and open E. These are based on an E chord shape. So we're gonna use caged to figure it out. And then we'll get back to what it means to play in the key of E. Next one will be shaped like a D. Only it's an E chord with two E notes. Next one's shaped like a C. It's got two E notes in it. Next one's shaped like an A. It has two E notes in it. Next one's shaped like a G. It's got three. And then we're back to uh, the E shape and so forth. It just keeps repeating. That's caged system, C-A-G-E-D. All those are based on those shapes. And if you play it without the chords, it would be like this. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Uh, now, I think that's a bare minimum if you're going to actually try to play some lead guitar. If you want to play some leads, some solos, you have to know those pretty well. I mean, it's got to be, if you have to hesitate, uh, that's not good. You should have that down. Um, that's just for the key of E. Next, I'd say, okay continue with my conversation with a student, what's an E major scale? And eventually, you know, if I write it out or we discuss it, it might be. And they're like, yeah, I already knew that. I'm like, <laughs> that's where it's, we're just trying to break down the, the communication wall here and just, you know, well, why didn't you play that then? <laughs> So when I play E major, I mean, that's good if you can do that. <laughs> I play the whole neck. I go. Something like that, you know, just connect the scales. So that would be one one thing I would recommend you do. If you want to play in a key, know the scale as much as you cover the neck. That is also based on caged. So I, there are five shapes of major scales. I was just meandering in my own way, kind of connecting the scales in kind of a hybrid fashion. But you can learn five distinct scales, shapes, all E major. There's also chords that would be in the key of E. And the students, you know, then they'll, they'll play like, I'm like, that's minor. <laughs> that's major. Because you got the major third right there, the G sharp. So if we're gonna talk about major, I would be thinking about that G sharp, not a G, right? So there's chords in the key of E. The E chord is the one. F sharp minor's the two. G sharp minor is the three, A major is the four, B7 is the five, C minor is the six, uh, 
D sharp or D major D sharp major seven flat five is the seven and then you're back to your eight or one the, the E so that's like do re mi fa so la ti do in chords yikes <laughs> bad ending but uh, that's an E shaped like a D so I would look into caged system if you want something to, to really connect the dots and be able to communicate with another musician that asks you to play in a key you're just going to know those shapes they're the same shapes for all 12 keys not counting the open strings but in, be in between the open position nut and the 22nd fret you'll find those shapes all tangled up in there and it's up to you to sort them out so uh, let me know if you like this we can maybe uh, come come after that caged system uh, one pattern at a time so uh, let me know what you think I'm just kind of rambling today it's good to be back see you